Remarkable Women on News Channel 34 is sponsored by Stanley Law and UHS. News Channel 34 is recognizing remarkable women in our area. Tonight, Jim Emke brings us the story of a Port Dickinson woman who's, who's determined to preserve the uplifting legacy of her daughter who lost her battle with cancer. This is um, a photo of Megan that was taken by her friend. Molly Santa Cruz sells portraits of her daughter Megan to raise funds for a scholarship in her name. Megan Santa Cruz died of ovarian cancer in November 2018. Her first bout with cancer was in 2010. After surgery and four months of chemotherapy, Megan was declared cancer free. But sadly, it returned in 2017, and this time it was more aggressive. Lots of heavy duty treatment, um, several surgeries, chemotherapy, and then also radiation. She's got a way. But through it all, Megan had an optimism and enthusiasm for life that was inspiring to many. She continued to pursue her passions in music, theater, traveling, foreign languages, and teaching. She was filled with joy and um, an optimistic spirit. Um, she had a lot of faith and she had a lot of courage. And after the first bout with cancer, a determination to live every day to the fullest. Molly bought tickets to Broadway shows and helped her cross items off her bucket list. Her strength was a huge part of it. Molly just stepped up, was there for Megan, did everything that she needed to do to get Megan the proper care, um, the resources that she needed, and she was a trooper. Molly puts much of the credit back on Megan. Being a mom of a child with cancer is not, not easy and um, she was helping me um, along the way just as we were helping her. When Megan died, the impact on the community was palpable. Friends and community members strung ribbons of purple, Megan's favorite color, along Shenango Street. The day that we were saying goodbye to our daughter, we were actually surrounded by visible um, signs of the community's love for us. To honor her spirit, the Santa Cruz family began raising money to give scholarships to Shenango Valley seniors with an interest in foreign languages and or music and theater. This photo has inspired others to adopt the pose dubbed Live Like Megan. Molly's friend, Krista Shoemaker, says that through all her challenges, Molly still thought of others. She always had time to ask how I was doing in school or how my kids are doing or what is, when's the next baseball game because we want to come and watch your son. So she's always been there, always. <laughs> and Krista says Molly has an infectious laugh that lights up a room. And while working part time and being a mom to her other three kids, Greg, RJ and Olivia, Molly finds time to help out with the CV musicals, the nonprofit A Room to Heal, and other community efforts. But none more important than keeping Megan's memory alive. She spread whatever joy and happiness she could that day to as many as she could. And an enduring message to live every day like it might be your last. In Hillcrest, Jim Emke, News Channel 34. You can buy Megan's portrait as well as custom-made bracelets and t-shirts with the names of all the Shenango Valley cancer fighters at Etsy.com shop live like Megan. Molly is in the running for a trip to a taping of the Mel Robbins show in New York City, which will air the week of March 23rd. Next Tuesday will feature the last of our four finalists.